Hey y'all, it's Madeline Lorelai. I'm walking around outside right now. You see, it's, it's almost dark. I've had a busy day. I'm out here at a few of my containers, which I've got tomatoes in here that like the plants aren't quite dead yet, but they're very done, obviously. Bell peppers are still doing great. Bell peppers are still doing wonderful. It's got a bunch of little peppers on there. I have this one little, I don't know if you can see it, little cayenne plant, which has not done a thing all season. It didn't seem like it was going to grow, let alone produce anything. And then all of a sudden, you know, it gets to be getting close to time where, like, you know, I'd start pulling them up where they were done with their growing cycle, and all of a sudden it decides that it wants to start making. That's so I figured I would come out here and show y'all we have been working on our trigger mechanism. This is uh, like wood putty stuff because down in here, this needs to be sanded down. Um, this is our slot where we're going to pull our string back and it's going to slot in here. And then we boop, pull our trigger and it pops that uh that string out and it goes whoom, down that channel and fires so i got overzealous and dry fired at one time i didn't really dry fired I, I pulled it back and well i mean i, I guess i dry fired <laughs> um wasn't anything in it you know um wasn't anything in it and it wasn't the the string wasn't um measured out to be you know what it's going to be so the um the strength of the bow is, is all off so it's actually it's supposed to pull harder than what it what it was pulled to but it still pulled hard enough to split out uh right in here a little bit um you see i've got all kind of wood puttied up i'm gonna sand that all down really well and i think what i'm gonna do is I'm going to go over it with some, probably epoxy, some, some kind of epoxy resin thing that I can sand off and smooth off really smooth to where it doesn't have anything to catch, because that's what's going to make it split out, is, is something catching it. That doesn't work out, we're going to take a piece of copper and build a shelf, because it definitely ain't going to split that out, right? Just epoxy that to it. But I just figured I'd come out here and talk for a minute, you know, just update. I'm going to sit right here in the snakes and stuff. And on my little bench that I have, a uh, little songhorse bench. But anyway, um, hunt season's upon us. Uh, I scouted out some new land in, uh, so Alabama has what are called WMAs, uh, Wildlife Management Areas, as public hunting land. Cool. And it looked gorgeous, the one I went to. Um, it's one... Not not super far from where I live. It is, it's less than an hour off if you drive straight there. Squirrels are throwing crap at me. Um, looked gorgeous, though. Oh, my lord, it looked gorgeous. I'm probably not going to do much in the way of gun hunting there, because here's where I sound super antisocial. i got to walk and talk. Um, their gun hunts for deer are only certain days. And the issue with that to me is there's only like three weekends for the season that you can hunt up there with a gun. The rest of it's archery. Obviously, I'm getting prepared for archery. That's fine for me. You know, I can go anytime. Um, season comes in in a couple days. Uh, archery deer season. Great. That works out great for me. Awesome. I'm so thrilled. But them gun days, there's going to be a lot of people out there. There's going to be a lot of people up there, and this is where I sound anti-socialist. I don't trust folks to, you know, not shoot at whatever moves in, in the bushes, you know. And I just don't want to be the chick on the news that they say, you know, local hunter. Because uh, they wouldn't say huntress, because you know how people are. <laughs> the, the, I don't want to be like local, local woman shot, you know, out while hunting on public land. I just don't want to be that person. And so, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just archery hunt up there for that. 
There's also a uh, really good, really good looking squirrel hunting up there. Really good looking squ uh, small game hunting. They also offer um, night hunting, uh, doing some night hunting, and I'm out of small game stuff. Um, I bought a I bought a new hoodie to go hunting in, and it says gray camo thing, and I love it. It's really cute. Um, hunting season comes around. I'm sure y'all see me wearing it in a video, but I want to tan out some possum fur because it has that gray to black tone to it and line the edge of the hood with it. And so I'm, pro I'm probably gonna need two possums to do it. I may, I may can do it with one good size one. So I may go out there. Um, it's no dog hunting, but that's fine with me because I don't have hunting dogs. But they do let you get out there and spotlight. And I, 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 think, I'm, I think I'm gonna do some of it. That, that sounds like a like a blast. It's been forever since I was not hunting for anything. Last time I went not hunting was a long time ago. And that was a coyote hunt that didn't work out well. I was out in the field and I got out there. I was on some family land and, you know, we, 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 it was legal. We had everything set up for it. But got out there and just didn't see anything, didn't see anything. And then I, I, I saw something and it was, uh, I saw a doe's ears flick up and I was like, I just packed up and went home like hell in this little bitty field. If if a deer's walking around, there ain't no coyotes out here. So, um, but that's been years ago. Gosh, that's been that's probably four or five years now. Last time I went night hunting, so that that ought to be fun. Well, I don't I don't count frogging. I do go frogging at night, but and that is hunting, but it's it's a different thing. Um, next summer that'll be a video we do. We'll we'll, we'll go on us a. I'd like to get a, get one of them GoPro cameras, it just to just to film stuff like that. That'd be fun, you know. I mean, I know not a lot of people watch this, and that's fine. You know, I make these for me, but it'd be very fun to get a get a GoPro and uh, I, I go gigging for frogs. So that'd be pretty fun, right? But yeah, uh, we got more videos coming up. A lot more videos coming up. Um, I'm trying. I'm still trying to do. It ended up being Friday, not Thursday. The last one of these. But that was because it was a special day. Um, if you watch that video, it's the one where I go mushroom hunting. That, that was a special day. That was a special video. I'm still trying to do, like, on Thursdays, do a just vloggy, walk around like this talking video. And then on... i got to get over here so you can see me. And then on... Um, that's bad. Maybe over here. But yeah, um, Thursdays do like a vloggy type thing. We're just kind of just talking, updating and stuff. And then on Mondays do like an actual content type of what I consider to be, you know, like where I do something or I make something, um, which I have the next, excuse me, um, I believe I have the next at least two. Well, I mean, like we got, I have a premiere up on my channel for the next one this coming Monday, um, tomorrow, but the next two after that for sure figured out and I, I have a lot of ideas for the rest of them. Um, which would be fun, you know, but I've been having fun doing this. It's been a really good time. I used to do YouTube years ago, um, years, years and years ago before I came out of trans. I, I did kind of the same sort of thing. Like I did a lot of, uh, outdoorsy type stuff. Um, my most popular video, I think about recreating my most popular video, which was, I just showed a brain tanning tutorial on squirrel hide. And there was actually a lot of interest in tanning squirrel hides out. <laughs> Like, that video got quite a lot of views. It got, it got like, close to 2,000 views before I took it down. I took every one of them down. Because, um, obviously, things changed and I redid. <laughs> I'm redoing a lot of stuff. But, um, I think about re redoing that. But, years ago, I did YouTube and I loved it so much. And so, I, that's what made me get back into it. The other fun thing being, uh, there were still... A lot of people subscribed to me that, like, I had not uploaded anything in forever. And if those accounts are still active, I'm sure there were some people that, like, you know, this weirdo trans chick shows up on the feed all of a sudden. It's like, when did I subscribe? Uh, that just kind of made me laugh when I first uh, first uploaded an, uh, another video. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just rambling. So, I'm going to cut this off and head back inside. The Skeeters are absolute. Um, it's still, it's still uh, quite warm down here so I'm, I'm still run, running around in booty shorts outside getting eaten by skaters but yeah so i will see y'all in the next video
And thank y'all so much for watching. Get real.